Hello, hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 20th full moon reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Capricorn and take a look at what's going on during this moon cycle. So again, October 20th, depending on your location, they do want that one they said. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what you're celebrating today. We'll take a look at your untapped spiritual gifts and greatest potential. We'll get messages from the divine for you specifically. We'll see how you've grown during this cycle and action steps that you can take to continue on your journey. So if you're interested in signing up for a free reading or even a personal reading, you can find both of those th links in the description box below. So we're starting off with what you're celebrating. And we did have the devil pop out in reverse. So this is beautiful because it says that you're releasing yourself from something tempting you that is not in your highest good. Uh, it could be an addiction, an obsession, it can be codependency, lies, manipulation, materialism, whatever is going on in your life that is toxic, you are freeing yourself from. And that is in itself something to celebrate. So congratulations, because it's not easy to get out of the devil's grip sometimes when you are deep in it, whatever that is for you. This can be a toxic relationship, whether it's with family, maybe it's a loved one, perhaps it is an employee or a boss or a coworker. Uh, it can be an environment. So a lot of you are releasing yourself uh, and the King of Cups showing up in reverse. This can be somebody who is cold, somebody who's not trustworthy, maybe somebody who lies somebody who's not really in touch with their emotions and brings more drama to the table than anything else. All right, let's get one more to clarify this devil energy here, spirit. So yes, a lot of you are releasing yourself from whoever this king of cups in reverse is. And uh, the fool card. Yeah, you want a new beginning and the new beginning involves leaving this toxic energy in the past i feel for a lot of you you may have given this uh opportunity or this chance numerous times you may have given somebody the benefit of the doubt or maybe you tried to have a new beginning over and over and over again uh, but i feel like for a lot of you you finally are taking this leap into the unknown and what that leap is is leaving any toxicity in the past it can be something as simple <clears throat> as uh, better eating as well. Some of you may be focusing on your diet or your health at this time as well. So you may be eliminating uh, anything that is toxic to your body, whether it's cigarettes, whether it's alcohol, uh, it certainly can be sugars, caffeine. So you are releasing, but we are tuning into your greatest strength, your spiritual gift here. And uh, we have the card of nostalgia. The card of the past here. This is uh, giving people second chances. And yes, this is your greatest strength here, your spiritual gift. Uh, but also it's about healing childhood wounding and not repeating the same cycles over and over. So Capricorn, if you find yourself in a situation where you have the same energy showing up after another, after another, after another, your greatest strength is to heal any childhood wounding that may be prohibiting or blocking you from moving forward, getting out of this energy, whether it's this devil energy that you're releasing yourself from, but your greatest strength is uh, you've healed that. You're working on healing that trauma so you don't repeat the same patterns. And uh, you may have had to learn that lesson the hard way by making, uh, you know, staying in a situation where again, you've given second chance after second chance here. Let's clarify this energy. <clears throat> What they're telling me as well, if this is a relationship for you, uh, or if this is a pattern where you find yourself in the same dynamic with the same kind of person. So maybe you go from, you know, this relationship to this relationship to this one, but you're finding the same sort of cold, um, cold people with the king of cups, somebody who's not trustworthy, maybe somebody who lies, somebody who steals, cheats, whatever it is for you here. And what it does 
is it ultimately builds and builds and builds these walls that you put up. And this is the card of the wounded warrior and your barriers go up so high. But your greatest strength here is to know when to walk away from a situation. And you're probably saying, well, Melissa, I'm not good at that, right? But this is your untapped spiritual gift. So it's something that you're still working on at this time. But I feel like you're celebrating releasing some sort of toxic energy in your life here. So congratulations, Capricorn, on that itself. And you can uh, come out stronger from a situation. The Nine of Wands is the card of the wounded warrior, but it says your greatest strength is that you have the determination, the motivation in a difficult time to keep going, keep persisting. You can finish what you started here. Even if you want to give up, even if you feel weak, or even if sometimes your barriers are so strong because of the past pain or hurt that you've been through here, I'm definitely sensing uh, you letting those walls down and being vulnerable, but also trusting your intuition. And they're also telling me about red flags. They're saying something about red flags, either paying attention to them, or maybe it's something you didn't want to pay attention to at one point. Uh, but I feel like your greatest strength is to overcome these obstacles or these patterns that may have stemmed from childhood with the Six of Cups here. So you're definitely able to overcome and move on from that energy and attract the kind of environment, relationships, uh, career, whatever it is that's holding you back. You're able to motivate yourself and you're, you're very determined, Capricorn, is what Spirit is telling me. You're a determined soul. Uh, sometimes you just give, you know, give so much of yourself where you end up unhappy and you end up in a situation where you don't want to be. But I feel like you're releasing that. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look here and get a direct message from Spirit. Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful Capricorns? What do you have for Capricorns during this full moon? So do pay attention to that full moon on October 20th because I feel like things are really going to start to roll. Uh, truths may come out. I feel like they already have, if I'm honest. I, I feel like... I feel like you may have received news or those red flags were highly illuminated for you. Yeah, we have support coming in here. The universe has your back. You are being supported at this time. Uh, let's take a look here and get two more cards, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. <clears throat> oh, goodness. We have self-love, and that certainly makes sense. All these cards from Spirit are definitely uh, playing into the energy that I am feeling here. So we have relationships, absolutely, and we have stay connected. Stay connected. So let's, let's clarify these for you. We have support. It says people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on, while others return, often because you learn... You need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you through your entire life. Yes, support. So uh, every time I get this card, <clears throat> excuse me, I think of a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And you're walking away because you've given somebody the benefit of the doubt over and over and over. And you've let them... You've let them kind of walk all over you, Capricorn. And you're worth so much more than that. You can see here that there is a lot of hands and they're holding this precious egg this precious egg here, uh, and it's not broke. It's not broke. Why? Because they're taking good care of this egg. And this is not only spiritual support backing you up, support that you cannot see, but this is support around you, whether this is you seeking maybe therapy or counseling uh, or coaching. This is also about you working on how to get back to yourself again, because we do have self-love. And it says, now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, <clears throat> I've got, uh, it's almost like a frog in my throat. So I feel like a lot of you, um, it started, I think, when I was talking about the support card. So speak, speak up is what Spirit is saying here. Speak up because people are willing to help you and support you because you're, you could be in a fragile state at this time. 
especially when you're releasing toxic patterns or energy, uh, you become more vulnerable, which vulnerability is not a bad thing here, Capricorn. And I feel for you uh, reaching out and asking your angels, asking your guides, or you know, reaching out and again, asking friends or family for guidance, for support, for, for help, even if it's professional. This is about you getting back to you and uh, focusing on self-love, self-care, and treating yourself with kindness, especially if somebody has uh, done you wrong. We do have relationships. It says relationships are just mere images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So you're healing your childhood trauma or uh, wounds from the past. If you can heal those, which I feel like is what you're, you're focusing on at this time, you are able to grow from the relationships and not, again, repeat patterns that keep showing up for you. And then lastly, we have stay connected. It says we are all born divine. Uh, we are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to source. So what they're telling me is some of you, if you are struggling with any sort of addictions, whether this is alcohol, substance abuse, <clears throat> they're also showing me 1111. As I said that and I looked up and it was 1111. So you may be seeing that number more often than not. Um, but what I was saying here is if you've struggled, I'm just going to say uh, alcohol. I'll use that one here as my example. I feel like it, this may have stemmed from an early age. It could have been since childhood. Perhaps you've started drinking at an early age to kind of numb some sort of pain or numb some sort of feelings here. And it's interfered with your relationships ever since. So this is about you releasing toxicity, releasing the patterns, and finally being open and vulnerable with the feelings that you were trying to get rid of in the first place. And I feel like relationships... You've been through a lot is what I'm hearing. There's been a lot of sadness, a lot of betrayal, a lot of grief, whether this is romantic or just within the family here. Uh, but stay connected to your true inner self here and uh, connect back to source. And sometimes when we are constantly in the state of mind, uh, whether it's a mind altering substance or uh, you know, we numb ourselves and we numb that connection that we have with the divine. And this is saying, get back to yourself here uh, for you to think clearly and you're able to heal and move past the trauma. All right, let's take a look here and see how you've grown. How have you grown here, Capricorn? And this can be uh, with the mirror. They're talking about mirrored relationships. Everything I just said regarding the alcoholism or the the substance abuse, this can be somebody else. This could be a partner or a relationship within the family uh, that doesn't have to be your energy. It can just be the mirrored energy of people that are coming into your life uh, need to work on their own addictions as well. All right, let's take a look here, Spirit, and see how my beautiful Capricorns have grown. Okay, how have you grown? Uh, they're giving me the name Kali. Kali? I feel like K-A, is it K-A-L-I? They're only showing me K-A-L, Kali. I feel like this could be a name. Uh, maybe it's a pet name. Maybe it's a, I'm not sure. Take it as it resonates. But they're giving me Kali. And we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Fool. Yeah, Ace of Cups and the Fool. So how you have grown is you've stepped out of your comfort zone. You've taken a leap of faith and it looks like it's in the direction of love. There's a new opportunity coming in here. Uh, if you haven't already started this, and this can be self-love for a lot of you. The Ace of Cups is all about self-love. It's about uh, you're finally ready to open your heart up. And uh, this is about abundance in, in love, in that heart area here. And this could be a lot of you, if you are in a relationship or trying to work it out with somebody who has betrayed you, uh, maybe it is your past that is interfering in a relationship that you want to be in, but you're not quite sure how to get rid of the past. I feel like, and not so much rid of it, um, but grow from it here. I feel like there is a beautiful new opportunity here with this showing up because this is how you've grown. You're letting love in 
to your heart, whether you are single or whether you are in a relationship or seeking one, you're taking a chance on love. I love this for you. This is beautiful. New opportunity coming in that is actually going to, let's take a look and clarify. Spirit, can you please clarify? Because I feel like this is good. This is uh, about you overcoming patterns. So I feel like whatever this new beginning is for you, yeah, you don't have to compete for somebody's love and attention any longer. Five of Wands showing up uh, in reverse. It's saying that you will work together with this person, especially if there's been so many obstacles, if there's been a lot of fighting, a lot of competition here. This is about collaborating and working together in this union to overcome the obstacles that you've been uh, bringing possibly in, or maybe they've been bringing in from the past. It's healing and uh, you are freeing yourself from it and you both are reaching for the sun and you're working together to achieve abundance and success. So I like this. And if this is you, again, opening up to yourself, which I'm really getting a strong feeling, it could be somebody else uh, coming in here. But I feel like you are opening up and um, you're willing to work and willing to heal. They actually want me to go one more. They want me to go one more here. Ah, all right, wow. So we did get that. I think it was the King of Swords energy uh, is what you were releasing from, or at least uh, that you were getting rid of toxic traits, right? That that King of Swords energy or King of Cups, was it? King of Cups possibly, but now you have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So you have two queens here. So some of you may be, maybe you're in a same-sex relationship. For some of you, this could be mother and sister, mother and daughter, uh, but it's just energy. It doesn't mean that you have to be female. It's uh, truth. I feel like what this is saying is that you're embodying the traits of both of these women who are full of love to give. Uh, you're opening your heart up with the Queen of Cups and ready to go all in. And the Queen of Swords sets healthy boundaries and she's truthful and she's honest and she tells things like it is. And communication is key with the Queen of Swords energy here, Libra and Aquarian Gemini energy. And uh, uh, I feel like that is what is taking place in order for this union to grow, whether this is again with yourself or with somebody else, you need to embody the traits that both of these queens carry. All right, now let's take a look and see what action steps, Capricorn, that you can take to continue growing on this path, on this journey. Pretty deep relationship message for you today. Let's take a look. How can you continue to grow? What steps can you take here? Uh, they're also telling me that Kali, Kali could be, I think she might be a goddess, the goddess Kali, K-A-L-I. Uh, maybe look that up or if you're familiar with goddess energy. Uh, I'm not sure who she is exactly. They're telling me she may be something with the, she may be something with the home, with the, um, creativity as well, but please look that up. How you've grown is you're eliminating dishonesty from your life. You're getting rid of betrayal. So this can be past betrayal. That is your own fear holding you back from achieving success in relationships. This can be other people that have betrayed you and you are healing some sort of betrayal. Whether again, it's romantic, whether it's family, uh, whoever this is in your life, you are moving past that and you are continually uh, continuously growing based on what has been done to you in the past here and you're moving beyond betrayal so I like this energy for you and that could be the toxic energy is the fear the anger uh, the resentments but I feel in this case here uh, you're ready to open up and take a leap of faith with the seven of swords all right let's take a look and get additional action steps that you can take Capricorn to continue on your journey Spirit, what do we have for my beautiful Capricorn? We have, have you asked your angels with help from, uh, for help? We have clear yourself. All right. And we have cut the cords. Cut your cords. All right. Energy that is definitely what we've been talking about here. Have you asked your angels, Capricorn, certainly talk to your angels for help because they want to help with the situation, but they uh, want you to ask. They want to be able to intervene, but they don't want to mess with your free will choices here. So make sure if you are wanting help, 
because you have support. You have support here. And uh, I feel like the angels want to come in and help you, but make sure that you are wanting the help. And if so, uh, ask because the help is there for you. We have clear yourself. Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Well, that's what you're celebrating. So you're definitely working on removing anything toxic in your life. And lastly, we have cut your cords. Cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. Wow. I love how the energy just flows in to each card with what we're talking about here. But yes, you are freeing yourself from destructive patterns here, Capricorn. And lastly, we're going to get a message from the Soul Truth deck here. And this is, oh, right away here. Very, very deep, deep messages coming through for you. What passion am I ready to pursue? Your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Your soul action Capricorn is this. Write a list of the passions to which you want to give life to right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you want and what you're passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life, especially with this new beginning showing up here. And this doesn't have to be love, although I'm definitely getting a strong uh, relationship tie. It can be work as well. So maybe you're releasing, you're starting a new job that's fulfilling here. Um, staying connected is important. You have the support and uh, you're fulfilling a passion interest of yours. But for many of you, the importance of this message is releasing toxic people, environment, patterns, and behaviors that are no longer serving you on this uh, soul's journey. All right, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Deep, powerful message for this full moon. You have a strong release coming in for you. Uh, make sure you are pursuing and doing things that you feel passionate about, including uh, yourself. So if that resonates, please feel free to hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I am sending you all out a lot of love and light. Till next time.